Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, we're going to subtract 5 and 6 minus 3 fourths, and then we're going to do 7 eighths minus 1 half. Okay, we, let's get started. We have uncommon denominators, so we need to find a common denominator. There are several ways to do this. Here's what I like to do. I like to create a factor tree. 2 times 3 is 6, and they're both prime. And then 4 is 2 times 2. And then I put the numbers in this nice little chart. And it makes life really easy. All you do is you write out all the factors for each number. Okay? And I'm going to put... Uh, okay, so here are the factors written out. And if you have more than one in a column, you just bring down one number. Okay? So here we go. And then you just multiply this together. That's 4, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So our common denominator is 12. So now what we do is, now that we have this, I'm going to place this over so it's not quite as confusing. We're going to rewrite the fractions, okay? And their new denominator is 12. Well, 6 goes into 12 two times, so I'm going to multiply 5 times 2, and that's 10. And 4 goes into 12 three times, and that's 3 times 3, which is 9, okay? And we're going to subtract these, and 10 minus 9 is 1 twelfth, and that is reduced and simplified. Okay, let's work the next problem. Okay, now let's subtract 7 eighths minus 1 half. Again, we have unlike denominators, so we're going to create a factor tree for each. 2 times 4 is 8, circle the 2 because it's prime, and then 2 times 2 is 4. And then for 2, that's already down to the prime number. So I'm going to use my cool little chart. Okay, For 8, I'm going to write the 2, the 2, and the 2. And for the 2, I'll write a 2. Remember, if you have more than one in the column, you just bring down one number. And you just multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Now, you do not have to use this technique, but you do need to find a common denominator. So now, let's use 8 as our common denominator. And we're going to rewrite the fractions. Okay. And um, 8 goes into 8 one time. 7 times 1 is 7. And 2 goes into 8 four times. 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 equals 3 eighths. And it looks like it is uh, 3 is a prime number, so it is down. It is simplified. So there we go. I hope that helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.